so I feel quite connected with my hives. I got my original hive from my, my grandfather, uh, who had passed away, and I'd went down to the site where I'd kept the bees, uh, and there was still a hive there, so I commandeered it uh, back to where I lived, and there was quite a bond over it because I wanted to keep them alive. Um, so yeah, there was quite a bond between myself and the beehive. So within the year, we've got three uh, harvests that we take. We, we take the, the spring honey um, towards the end of May, and then we've got our summer honey that comes off towards the end of July. Uh, and then after that, we've got the, the heather honey um, that we bring our hives up to Perthshire here, and they can feast on the on the ling heather that probably is only open for six weeks of the year. Um, it's got a really short flowering period. But we, we bring the hives up here because it's such a rich uh, honey and the taste is incredible. Uh, and it's really the last chance for uh, for the bees to fill up the hives with their feed. And I think the Scottish heather honey is quite renowned uh, over Britain and, and across the world, in fact, for having uh, such a strong flavour. Uh, it's, it's quite a, a unique taste. Um, that you can really taste the moors within the heather. It takes a bit of effort moving the bees up onto the moors, but I think it's all worth it. Uh, within the end, when you take away the product, uh, that's renowned. Incredible taste. So I guess in some parts, beekeepers might be inclined to take uh, take too much honey from, from the beehive. I think a good beekeeper would only take the surplus, the boxes that is up above the brood colony. In the past, it's certainly happened that they don't really care about the brood or the colony themselves and just strip the entire hive of the, the honey, all for profit. But I think it's quite common practice in Britain that you only take the surplus and nowhere near that the, anything that's going to put the colony to stress. So yeah, I'd, I'd say that it's just responsible. It's sustainable practice within beekeeping uh, that we only take the surplus. It's quite a, a tradition, not not quite folklore. Somebody dies in the in the past. Uh, it's quite common for beekeepers to go up to the hive and talk to the bees and tell them that the that somebody has passed. Quite a spiritual thing that goes on. So uh, yeah, quite quite get one to chat away to the bees when you're working with them. Um, yep, you're by yourself. It's quite uh, quite chatty with them. So yeah. <laughs>